A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to the people that will produce its fruit. The Gospel of the Lord. For 17 years, she had been a member of the custodial staff at an elementary school, cleaning classrooms, bathrooms, offices, and the teacher's lounge. Every student and teacher at the school knew and liked the generous and hard-working maid. Every morning before beginning work at 1 p.m., she took courses at a local college. After seven long years of juggling her studies with the demands of her work and caring for her family, she completed her degree in education. She then applied for a teaching opening at the very school where she had mopped floors and cleaned toilets for so long. But the principal felt that since everyone knew her as a janitor, She could not be effective in the classroom, in the role of a teacher. So the would-be teacher reluctantly accepted another one-year contract for a custodial position. But one principal's reason for rejecting her was exactly what made the janitor the ideal candidate at another elementary school. The principal there had once been a teacher at her school and remembered the care and pride she demonstrated when cleaning the classrooms. Our kids are one step out of the projects. We want them to know what they can achieve. She has it, and I'm hoping she can give it to our kids, the second principal said. The one-time custodian now teaches fifth grade where she is beloved and respected by her students. There is one link into her past. At the end of the day, her room is always clean. I try to help the custodians. Stones rejected. One principal's doubt about a teacher makes her a cornerstone at another school. What one saw as reason to reject her was one reason for another to embrace and welcome her. Like the tenants in today's parable, we reject whatever scares us or threatens us, whatever we don't understand, whatever challenges us, and the safe lives we have built. But Christ, the Messiah, comes with a new, transforming vision for our vineyard, a vision of love rather than selfishness, of hope rather than cynicism, of peace rather than hostility, of forgiveness rather than vengeance. My sisters and brothers, may we have the courage and wisdom to look beyond the stones of our fears to welcome Christ and maids transformed into teachers into this vineyard of ours, aware that he calls us to the demanding conversion of the gospel, but determined to sow and reap the blessings 
of God's reign. On your continued journey, may the Lord give you peace.